Car Nam 2012, and uh, we're at the RME booth, and uh, we're talking with Chris here. Got uh, a new uh, Fireface UCX that they've uh, released here at NAB 2012, and we're going to talk to him a little bit about it. Can you tell us about this, Chris? Sure. It's our new flagship product. It's the little brother of the uh, UFX over there in Iraq. It's 18 channels of I.O., similar to the Fireface 400 and Fireface UC. Um, newer converter design, very low latency converters. Uh, so it's a very short round trip latency on it. Um, mic preamps that are taken from the UFX design. Also based on the mic to see our flagship uh, mic preamp that we have, the eight channel mic preamp. Um, it has uh, eight channels of analog, up to 192 for a sample rate. Has built in effects, uh, it's an EQ compression reverb, um, available on all the channels at all the sample rates. Um, the, this controller comes with it. Acts as the monitor controller for your main outs and for your headphone outs. Uh, you can also assign the button to do uh, the other two buttons to do independent functions like a mute or a dim. The advanced remote, which is also uh, available for this and the UFX, is six button uh, optional encoders that you can customize to do pretty much anything in the total mix. You can do a whole bunch of different functions with it. Create solo groups, uh, different effects presets you can call up with it. Um, otherwise, it also has the volume controls for the for the main outs and headphone outs. Uh, so it has a whole monitoring station as part of the as part of the audio interface. Uh, the biggest feature in this that's unique for the, for an RME product is class compliant mode, which allows it to work with the iPad. Depending on the software, like this particular software, you can do up to eight analog ins and outs. It, it can use you can record with. Um, most of the software that's available right now is mostly stereo, but you can pick any of the input, any of the analog inputs in that mode. You can use the effects on the iPad also. Uh, you can configure the effects with the computer and save up the two presets that you can recall at any time in here, like uh, set up a preset to do like say uh, uh, tracking for like recording, you have some reverb on your voice or whatever, or just monitoring the input. And then you can switch to the second preset for mixing and you switch back and forth. Um, because the total mix option isn't available in, in class compliant mode. It's, it uses a different driver technology. Technically, you can do up to 18 ins and outs on the iPad, but the iPad's not ready for it yet, like dry, update wise. Supposedly, that's coming soon, and we'll be able to update our drivers to actually support 18 ins and outs on an iPad to record with. People using like mobile recording setups, uh, people using smart. Uh, for doing uh, room analysis. They could do it now on an iPad in this and have very high quality, very neutral, low noise mic preamps to do that type of room analysis with. Uh, or just, you know, home, home recording or mobile recording with it. You know, on the iPad as well as obviously using it on the Mac and PC. Uh, or it's kind of legendary driver design at this point. Where it's very low latency, very stable drivers. Uh, typically, um, Average customer now is running at three milliseconds. On the Mac, on the with using USB, you can go down to 14 samples, which is like technically just under one millisecond latency. Um, PC, it's slightly more, but still in the one millisecond range. Um, majority of users are using USB, even on the Mac side, so they can free up the FireWire port if they have them for for hard drives and the like. Now this has MIDI on it, MIDI yeah, out to it, so, it, so you can it will control the iPad MIDI as well correct. as audio. Yeah, so you, you have the MIDI I/O. Um, technically, on the iPad, you have if you're using it through like on a computer side of things, you can use uh, Touch OAC's new like the, the new iPad apps they have to control it uh, wirelessly. Uh, if you play, have a plugged in a computer, you could uh, do Wi-Fi MIDI with the iPad through your computer and control right. it hands-free. You know, using a vocal booth or whatever to control it. Um, the headphone outs all have their own, uh, there's two different headphone outs on it that allow you to do their own volume control, uh, independent of the main out. Very high quality, uh, like very loud, but very clean uh, headphone. They'll drive most major headphone brands out there. Uh, uh, high impedance, low impedance, so should handle any headphones we've tried with it so far. Well, there fine. it is. I mean, you so. now can use high quality interfaces uh, with your iPad, which I know a lot of people I've been talking to Very have been waiting for that, to, that yes. to happen. 
So there it is. We got yeah. RME. It's the UCX, Fireface UCX. Uh, use it with your Mac. You use it with your laptops. You use it with your PCs. Now you can also use it with your iOS devices. Anyway, this is uh, Musician News, NAM 2012. Bye -bye. Thanks, Chris. <laughs> Thank you.